<laughs> How you doing? Anthony Farrell here of Create Sci-Fi. Today I have a fun little video for you. Uh, today I want to talk about how to do a sci-fi blaster effect in, in video. Uh, a lot of you ask me about the um, blaster effects I do at the end of my making videos. Usually when I make a sci-fi blaster or a staff or some kind of weapon, I'll just have a little fun at the end and fire it up and do a little... Um, little VFX blaster um, and they're, they're really straightforward really simple and I've been doing it for a while so I have something dialed in uh, you do need after effects but it's it's pretty easy and I found some uh, great plugins from video copilot that are free and it makes this really simple uh, really easy right so basically what we'll do is I'll have links below but we're gonna go to um, video copilot there's uh, some plugins that we can get for free. There's a, a Saber plugin, um, which is, is very cool, which is basically for a lightsaber, but I use it to just do like a quick blast because there's lots of options and you'll see once we get into it. And then the, the Shockwave that I do, um, they sell them as a pack, but there's a demo where you can download uh, a free one. And then uh, Color Vibrance, which just really makes some cool colors, especially for lasers. And then um, we're gonna grab some audio, need a blaster effect. And then the only other thing is uh, you need a muzzle flash. I'll go on Google to find one of those. I have them from Video Copilot, but if you wanna do this and just try it out with no money, you can find them for free. Like I said, it's an After Effects, so the first thing we need is a plate. And here's the blaster from that very first video that I've ever done. So uh, that's kind of cool. All right, so you need a little recoil. All right, so we're going to add a blaster effect to this. All right, let me fire it up. All right. <laughs> All right, so let's, let's take a look at doing that. All right, we'll dive right into After Effects. So I got the shotgun blast, I got the shock wave, and I got the plate. So this is just real simple. Uh, this is not an After Effects how-to. This is just showing you with these really uh, easy elements how we can do this very simply. If you want to go deeper into After Effects, you know, there, there's other tutorials for that. But basically, I have this shotgun blast. I like to put it just one frame before I kick back with the gun, right? So I drop that in there, I find the position for it, just rotate it a little. And now I'm going to add uh, the laser blast. So here's this great video, Copilot Saber plugin, right? It's meant to be a lightsaber, but I use this as a quick way to do laser blast because you're only gonna do about three frames. So I go through all the options, I find one that I like, and then now you're gonna add this to your comp and there's a start point and an end point. So what I do is I put the end off in the distance and I put the start at the beginning of my gun and I kind of create a trajectory line. Then I bring that end line closer and I'm basically just gonna create three uh, keyframes. It's gonna start off small, second keyframe is gonna be a little bigger, and then the third one will be the largest and it totally exits the frame. And again, this is very basic, uh, not going into too many details about how After Effects works. This is just showing you that using these few simple plugins, like I said, um, you can do this very simply and easily. So now that I have that, I usually just do a few adjustments. And again, it's three frames, so you, you futz it, you go back and forth. So now I wanna go to the Color Vibrance plugin and I'm just going to change that shotgun blast um, to a blue color that's going to match my laser. And again, the shotgun blast, it's just one frame. It's just something that sort of gives a, a, a quick subtext visually. So just adding the blue makes it more sci-fi. And I just uh, screen that onto the image. And it just gives a nice little one frame effect. Now what I think what really sells it is this shockwave, right? So uh, we bring in the shock wave, you, you add so that it screens it on there. And what I do is I just will hit the, the 3D layer. And then that way I can just tweak it and turn it just a little. Um, I sped it up right there because it was a little slow. And this, again, these are all just like subtle subtextual visual things, right? So this little residue, 
again, it's probably 10 or 12 frames, but it just adds a lot of value. Um, and what I'll do is I'll uh, use the color vibrance again, and I'll add the same color uh, blue to this. And then that way it just unifies everything. And that's just a really basic um, way to create a laser blast. And then once you have that little package, you can just copy and paste it and use it over and just adjust it. <laughs> it's pretty basic, right? Very simple. And it's, you know, something that I use a lot and I don't know, it's, I just, it's fun, right? So um, as always, I hope you found this video useful. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. I love to read the comments and be sure to sign up for the email newsletter. And remember, I'm just here to help make sci-fi. <laughs> One for the road.